YouTube. Welcome back to another layout update. This layout will be for May 2016. Uh, as I apologize, it's been a while since the last layout update, but I've just been extremely busy with travel and school. Plus, it's been pretty nice out lately, um, so it's been kind of hard to get up here and uh, work on the layout while enjoying the nice weather. So as of the beginning of this month, uh, I'm happy to say that the bench work for the new layout is 100% complete. Uh, the only, I, I still have a few just very small things to kind of touch up on or do. One of the things is end plates for the swing gates uh, so I can screw some screws into there so I can solder the rails to it so they won't move every time I open up the gate, which will keep the tracks nice aligned. So I still have to do that. I also have to install the, the road bed, or the plywood road bed for the grade on the other side of this wall to your left here. So those are the two small things I have to do. Those won't be done for a little while yet as I am nowhere near laying track. So I'll go ahead and I'll just show you what I finished up and that'll pretty much wrap up this layout update. So it's not gonna be a long one today. And I, like I said, I apologize for not getting one up sooner, but let's get to it. So shortly after the last layout update, I continued on with the plywood for the upper level. So I cut it all out, screwed it in. I got all that section done there. This section in here. Continuing on into the upper level yard. And all the way to the end of the peninsula. Uh, the plywood is completely screwed in place and is completely solid. I still have to kind of touch up on a few areas, uh, sand down the edges if it's uh, oh, if there's a little bit of overhang or whatever. But other than that, it's the main construction is pretty much done. So I'm happy to announce that. Next is foam, which I've already started to do. So I'll pop over to the other side there and I'll show you what I have done. Uh, in regards to laying foam on top of the plywood. So as you can see, I have cut and fitted the foam in place on the branch line. This section here that you're looking at is the industrial park. There will be about five, six industries in that area or whatever I can make work and fit. And the foam is cut and fit in place all the way down to that third window down in the corner there. I'll reposition the camera to give you guys a better look, uh, better look at what I've done. And then we'll pretty much wrap up this layout update, I believe. So coming into the corner here, I started cutting a little bit more foam, but then I ran out. Could have continued, but I needed a bigger piece in that corner because when I was cutting the plywood, I didn't round the plywood at the corner. So instead of Recutting the plywood or splicing a piece in, I'm just gonna round the foam instead. So I have to go and get some more foam sometime soon, probably next weekend, and I'll continue on with the foam with the rest of the layout. Um, because this layout update is so short, I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you guys an overview of the layout and uh, we'll show you what it actually looks like when you first enter the room. So here is the entrance to the room. And the first thing you will see once you walk into the room, of course once there's actual backdrops up, is the grade up to the second level. Uh, the track comes through the backdrop in this corner, uh, then goes up the grade. Uh, I think that'll turn out to be quite a neat little scene. Lots of mountain terrain. You'll also have to walk through this first of three swing gates 
and you will see the branch line right here will be where the industrial zone or park whatever you would like to call it is like I mentioned earlier in this video and you continue walking down uh, there will be a grain elevator uh, in this section right here as well as a siding relatively straight in this section and this is the first part of the upper level as you round the corner you'll have to travel through the lower gate and the upper gate which brings you into the main portion of the layout lower level is double main upper level is single main and the upper level yard will be here and the lower level yard will be here makes it easy if I want to uh, hand pick the cars off the layout which isn't technically prototypical but if I do need to move something and organize it for a um, for an operation uh, or an operating session I can do that without having to uh, pick cars up and travel halfway across the room to go to the second yard in here is the upper level town uh, it'll have a little industry in there probably a brewery or something and here uh, obviously there will be the two main lines there will also be the branch track that connects to the branch line on the other side there but also the track that goes up the grade on the other side of the wall there will also be a lumber mill back there on the lower level coming around on the upper level there is Intermodal yard, or uh, that's mountain scene right there. Uh, excuse me. And then the lower level, there is an intermodal yard, the biggest of the two. Continuing on, just kind of more mountain landscape for the bottom and upper level. Uh, there'll be a uh, flood loader up here to load the coal cars and more mountain scenery up here there'll be a hidden staging yard for the intermodal yard behind a hill and some trees uh, because the staging yard for the intermodal will kind of interconnect with the mountain and flood loader which wouldn't look quite right so i'm gonna have to hide it a little bit on the lower level here uh, is where the rotary dumper will be for the coal uh, I'm thinking about also putting like a little mock potash unloading um, house or uh, shed or whatever you want to call it. And coming around on the upper and lower level is just going to be some trees and some other scenery. And then on the lower level this is kind of the branch point before you go across the bridge into the yard again and where uh, the main track branches off to go down the branch line. On the upper level, uh, going all the way into that back corner will be the intermodal yard and again the bridge will connect back into the upper level yard. So that's just a little bit of an idea as to what the layout is going to look like and what it looks like as of uh, May 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed this layout update. Um, just one quick thing before I sign off. As you may have noticed, I was doing pretty much weekly uploads there for a good month and a bit. Uh, I think that's probably going to be a pretty regular schedule now. Um, uh, with the weather being nice, uh, I've been getting out rail fanning quite a bit and even when I'm not rail fanning and doing my weekly uploads of rail fanning I'll have a layout update or some other or the prototypical modeling or um, some other video to fill in the place for that weekly upload. So there will be plenty of videos uh, in the near future for all of you to view. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this month's layout update and I hope to see you guys in the future. So as of now, I'll sign off and see you in the next video.